Guys! Guys! Your fame is well deserved, Spaniard. I don't think there's ever been a gladiator to match you. As for this young man, he insists you are Hector reborn. Or was it Hercules? Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? You do have a name. My name is Gladiator. How dare you show your back to me? Slave! You will remove your helmet and tell me your name. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the North, general of the Felix Legions, loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next.
boy. Yeah. Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ah, uh, well, it's a DeLorean, right? Stay with what me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. Roll yeah. tape. Okay, I will proceed. Ah, uh, Doc. Uh, is that a diva? Never mind that now. Never mind that now. Right now. Right now. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Heidi. Hey, hey, boy. Get in there. Yeah, no, boy. In here, go. Sit down. Put your seatbelt on. That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check done. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch ahead. <laughs> Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Got me the car, the car! My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Then where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future to be exact. And precisely, 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Hello, Reagan. 
I'm a friend of your mother's. I'd like to help you. You want to loosen the straps, huh? I'm afraid you might hurt yourself, Reagan. I'm not Reagan. I see. Well, then, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Damien Carras. And I'm the devil. Now, kindly undo these straps. If you're the devil, why not make the straps disappear? That's much too vulgar a display of power, Carras. Where's Reagan? In here with us. Show me Reagan, and I'll loosen one of the straps. Can you help an old altar boy, Father? Your mother's in here with us, Carras. Would you like to leave a message? I see that she gets it. If that's true, then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? What is it? Ugh! <laughs>